Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, don't expect much to change around here as we go throughout the evening hours as it's going to remain on the wet and gloomy side. At least it stays mild though, right? Temperatures will continue to hover between about 45 and 50 for us throughout the evening hours here. 50 at 7 o'clock by 9 down to 48 by 11 down to 46. Those showers, well, they should begin to come to an end after about 7 or 8 o'clock this evening. Here's a look at Power of 5 Live Radar and you can see light rain showers continue across the entire viewing area. It obviously was a lot more steady and more concentrated during the late morning, mid afternoon hours, but you can see now it's become a little more speckly in nature. That indicative of the fact that the rain is beginning to taper off some. Finally, a few dry spots out there, or should I say, areas where rain's not falling as heavily because it's not dry anywhere across the tri state this evening. But from Blue Ash down towards Anderson, it's wet. Here comes another round of showers. This is all moving from southwest to northeast. VV up towards Cotton and Glencoe, down towards Owenton as well, over to around Williamstown. This activity will spread. Across the greater Cincinnati metro area and then work its way into our northeastern communities. While there is a flood watch in effect for our southern parts of our viewing area, the heavier, steadier rains that prompted that flood watch has all but ended now. And you can see the drier air beginning to work its way in on the back side of that. So I'm not terribly concerned about flooding this evening. However, any poor drainage areas or if you have any smaller creeks or streams, they are going to stay high through the evening, even though the rain has all but stopped or will have all but stopped. With Within a couple of hours from now. So here's a live look outside. You can see the tops of the buildings pretty much obscured by low cloud cover. There will also be some patchy fog around this evening with light winds. 50 at the airport. It's taken us all day to get there, but we finally arrived at the high of 50 today. All right, here's the back edge of the rain. Futurecast does a really good job showing that by 10 o'clock it's all out of here. However, notice the gray on the map that represents the cloud cover. I do think there could be some patchy areas of dense fog overnight as well, with winds remaining light. We'll start cloudy tomorrow, and it will probably take the better part of the day for cloud cover to burn off and then for us to eventually get into some sunshine. And then we get to enjoy a nice break on Thursday, but the break for dry weather is short lived because Thursday night we will cloud up and guess. Guess what gets back in here for Friday? Another round of soaking rains across the area. While right now the Ohio River is not forecast to go into flood stage, something to keep in mind the river is going to hover up there around 50 to 51 feet through the end of the week. A matter of fact, over the weekend, with this second round of rain on Friday, which looks like another good soaker for us, the river's forecast to climb to 51 and a half feet. As I mentioned yesterday, I think we'll be watching the Ohio for a while. So 43 for a low tonight as the rain tapers off. Slow clearing tomorrow. Some late day sun in here. 54 for a high. Here's a look at your day planner. 43 at 8 a.m. Lunchtime 47. And as some more sun pops out during the afternoon, we'll make it into the low 50s. Here's your seven day forecast. Chilly tomorrow night as we drop back to 33, but a beautiful day on Friday. And then it's wet on Friday and a wet start to Saturday before some sunshine returns on Sunday. All right, Kevin, that sunshine <laughs> much needed after today. Tiger Woods.